All right, what's going on, everybody? Josh Pocock here, founder and CEO of Executive Stride. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to run efficient YouTube ads, how to really structure the basics of a campaign um, of ad groups, what settings you should use, how you should target, how you should scale. All right, we're going to dive into it. We're not going to get too, too deep. This isn't going to be a crazy advanced video. I'm just going to give you a high level overview of how to set up the architecture, the structure and systems for this. Um, and then maybe in future videos, we'll dive deeper, but let's get right into it. All right, so we are in the Google ads account, right? So if you don't already know, Google obviously owns YouTube. So when you're running YouTube ads, everything is run through Google ads, right? So when you go here and you create a new campaign, um, here, I'll quickly show you your, it ranges for, you know, different purposes, what you're running a campaign for, but let's just say, for example, we're running a standard leads campaign. So we want leads and conversions. So we would do leads, and then you could select different conversion goals and you can actually um, basically set these up as well. You're going to want to set up. I'm not going to get into the technical setup of how to run YouTube ads start to finish. I may maybe if you really like this type of stuff, let me know and maybe I'll do like a full in-depth video for 2023 uh, going over everything. Um, but you're going to continue. Now, if you're running YouTube ads, like as you can see here, we have search ads. We have performance max, display, shopping, discover. You're going to want to use video, right? So you're going to go video. You're going to go continue. All right. So next is where you can start your campaign name, your campaign locations, your language, your bid strategy. With bid strategy, there's target CPA, so uh, TCPA uh, or maximum conversions. Um, there's some other ones as well, but... Uh, not going to get into those just yet. So campaign name, you can name that very simple territory. So, you know, U S Canada, California, you know, Florida, whatever, wherever you're targeting, right. You can enter a specific, specific location or whatever, uh, languages you can select that there. Matt. So you can either do maximum conversions. Now maximum conversions is going to, um, the folding bid strategies aren't available in this campaign, maximum CPV target CPM or viewable CPM. So those aren't available. Uh, Google ads automatically sets your bids to help you get the most conversions within your budget. So that's what maximum conversions does. Now target CPA is you're going to put in a target CPA and it's going to with, so just to explain what it says here, with target CPA cost per action, you set the average amount you're willing to pay for a conversion from the target CPA you set will optimize bids to help you get as, uh, as many conversions as possible. Some conversions may cost more or less than your target. So typically I like using this and we'll put something, let's say anywhere from like, um, you know, like 25, 30 bucks, whatever. It really depends obviously what type of campaign you're running for, running for, you know, if you're a marketing agency running for a client or if you're a business running for yourself, you know, you can kind of get the gist there right here. It says a typical CPA for a video campaign is between 2875 Canadian and 4961 Canadian. All right. So obviously do the conversion if you're in US or if you're in you're using British pounds or whatever, um, do those conversions, euros, all that stuff. But uh, it, it's going to be around like 25, 20, 30 bucks, 40, 40 bucks, depending on what you're using. Right. It could be potentially more. But, you know, that's typically where we put it at, like pretty. You Now, you want to put it somewhat kind of lower, I'd say, on the low end. Um, at least that's what we've been doing. That's been working because um, if you don't, it's going to it's going to spend a lot more. Google's I don't know. They're, they want to make more obviously i guess or i don't that's just how the algorithm tends to work so budgets and dates so enter your type uh enter your budget type and amount so campaign total you could do and then you could do an end date and you could do like say if we're running it for a month you could do like a thousand two thousand three thousand bucks and it's going to distribute that now let's say if we're doing daily you know you can do like 400 bucks a day or whatever you're doing um and then you could in 
have a start date and the end date if you want or just have none there you would just go edit now networks now okay from my knowledge um if anyone knows this let me know in the comments but from what we've been seeing and what i've been hearing at least like let me show you for example video partners on display network so for certain so like it says here we pull this up here as that's loading basic okay so uh, Google Video Partners are high-quality published websites and mobile apps where you can show your video ads to viewers beyond YouTube. Video Partner publishers are carefully vetted and must meet Google's inventory quality standards. Uh, video Partners publishers also need to follow the policies applicable to... Okay, but we don't care about that. Um, show ads that fit your brand. Okay, there was somewhere basically... Was it this? Oh, yeah, here we go. So as of September 30th, 2021, new video action campaigns that you create in Google Ads use Google Video Partners automatically. With video action campaigns, you can tell uh, your brand story with longer headlines and have access to top performing places like YouTube's home feed, watch page, watch next feed, and Google Video Partners all within one campaign to ensure you achieve the best performance across all Google networks. You won't be able to opt out of Google partner uh, video partners for video action campaigns. All right. If you want to know what video action campaigns are, these are ones that drive more conversions, um, improve campaign performance, scale with easeability. So yeah, with those type of campaigns, like you're pretty much, uh, not going to be able to turn these off. Now, typically, what I would suggest, if you can, is to toggle off YouTube search results and toggle off uh, video partners on Display Network. You really just want YouTube videos. These are going to be that like, five-second video that plays before a video. And that's typically where you're going to get the highest conversions. Um, content uh, exclusions to find where your ads can be shown to help the content Exclusions campaign, they've been moved to account level. You can find them under content suitability. Okay, so this actually, so they've been changing around their user interface. So um, we'll maybe get back to that. I'll show you uh, actually as well how to exclude certain things. And I'm also even going to be providing you guys a free list. So stay tuned for that, a free list of um uh, websites that you or channels that you can exclude from your campaign to really boost conversions make sure you're not spending as much all right so stay tuned for that we'll get into that in just a second and then create your ad group so this is where you would create your um you would name your ad group you can add an audience so you would go add audience i'm not going to show these audiences right yet this is a new ad account by the way so this is not the specific one we use at our company this is a different um this is a different account for something else, but uh, I'm showing you the same principles that apply. Um, optimized targeting. So yeah, you can add an audience. You can go new to, new audience. Now with the audiences, I'm gonna give you a tip. What I would suggest, I'm not gonna get soup in this video. I'm not gonna dive super deep into how many campaigns you should have, how many target audiences, etc. But what I will say is a good I, like a good structure that we follow is basically five ad groups within one campaign. Each campaign is basically different targeting. Now, each ad group is the same targeting. targeting. So say if I'm targeting California, it's going to be California. And say if I'm just targeting it on a broad scale, it's just all of them are going to be like that. Even And then some campaigns, because um, what you're going to do is have different targeting per campaign with the same ads, same ad groups. But um, say if one campaign is targeting broad, another campaign is targeting like an interest or behavior or like one of those type of stuff. Um, so those within the ad groups, that targeting will stay the same. But the only difference is it's going to be segmented based on age. I'll show you that in a second. So you could do custom segments, your own data, interest and detailed demographics. So this is where you would go in market segments, life events and more um, exclusions. So. You could add remarketing lists. Um, you could do visitors. So you could exclude certain things. And this is something you may want to do. Um, 
Yeah, you, you may want to do something like this so you're not remarketing to the same people that are, you know, already took in a specific action. Now, demographics. So if you're marketing something that's specific for male or female, then you can tar toggle one or the other off. But what I would do is say if you're not doing that, you can filter, you can create five audiences per campaign. And you're just literally going to do the ages. So 18 to 24, that's going to be one audience with the same targeting. And then 25 to 34, all right? And then 20, or then 35 to 44, 45 to 54, 55 to, don't do 64, just do 65 plus. And then do... Um, uncheck that and do unknown, do an unknown known audience. So this is basically uh, selecting unknown means that your ads, you want your ads to reach people whose gender isn't known. And then selecting unknown means that you want to reach where their age isn't known, right? So hope that makes sense. If it doesn't rewatch this, all right, it's going to give you a good understanding. So you're going to add that audience. Then you would just say, let's say if it's a broad, you would do broad. And then uh, 24 to 25, that would be one, right? You would create this, and then you would create four others uh, that are 25 to 34, 35 to 44, 50, uh, 45 to 54, and then six, uh, 55 to 65 plus, and then unknown. Some of that, whatever, whatever I showed initially. So hope that makes sense. Let's just discard this. Okay, I'm not going to add the audience yet. Now, I'm not going to show you this. Maybe I will in a different video. You're going to want to set up your YouTube channel and you're going to want to upload the videos, unlist them, the ones that you want to run as ads. And then you're just going to take the URL, paste it in here. All right. Once you do that, you are you can do you can create multiple ads. I would say like maybe at least do four to eight um, ads, right? Ideally, it could be potentially more, potentially less, but around that's a good range and then you can uh there's going to be your headline your short headline your description all that stuff um youtube you can't like have emojis or punctuation really it's very basic so just keep it pretty simple you know see if you qualify you get your quiz or you know get you know whatever whatever the case is like keep it pretty basic i'm not going to go over that right now just to save some time um and that's how you kind of build out a basic campaign now once you build out the campaign, let's go back here, uh, leave. So I'm going to show you something. Okay. So, uh, by the way, guys, if you don't know, you can actually change the view so you can have the view up here, right? Or you can have it here, uh, change view like this. So either way, and you can just go like this. Just so you know, um, over here, if you're not familiar with Google, I'm not going to do a full overview, but you have overview, recommendations, campaigns, ad groups, ads ads and ad sets, videos, landing pages, audiences, content, uh, settings, change history, and then a bunch of other stuff, right? So here is one campaign. So we'll go to campaigns. And I'm not going to show you guys the specifics of this campaign. This is a campaign that we're just launching um, today. And so... It is low budget at the moment. We're definitely going to scale it a lot. And also, too, uh, we still have to set up our additional campaigns. So basically, I'm just showing you guys as an example. What we would do is we would, we can, um, you know, copy, paste this campaign to duplicate it and then change uh, the specifics. You can basically just duplicate the campaign and then change the targeting, like I said. So this is a broad campaign targeting and then the in like i said in the ad groups just split by age and it's the same targeting so then we would do a couple specific we would have like ideally we're gonna probably have about six or seven uh at, at campaigns with these same videos and they're gonna be targeting different segments right and we'll be able to get a lot of data based on that right now if i go to ad groups you'll see an example of what it looks like so run a market and we have our um our stuff here 25 to 34 35 to 44 okay this actually needs to be changed i think this is i think this is unknown i'll have to double check but 
Just, I'll double check later, but I believe it's unknown. Okay. And save that. Cool. Okay. And what else? There was something else. Okay. So by the way, guys, when you're editing stuff, if you're in the ad group and you're doing settings and, and et cetera, you're at, at doing editing stuff on a ad group level. Typically, lots of times you're going to want to do stuff on a campaign level. Sometimes like, for example, you're going to want to set your budget on a campaign level. That's why if I go into the campaign, all the target CPA is 25 bucks. Um, oh yeah, that's the target CPA. I was about to say that should be more of the daily ad spend. Um, so yeah, target CPA, 25 bucks. Um, but it's that that's because we're set it on an ad or on a campaign level. If I go to settings here, okay. If I go into this on an ad group level, you'll see the target CPA is zero. It's like left blank, right? And that's at least typically how lots of the times you want it in this specific case, that's how we want it. Um, and then I'm going to show you one more thing guys, just to finish off this video. And this is where I'll give you some free goodies here. So when you're running your ads, when you're getting placements, you don't want placements being put on unqualified channels on like places where it just doesn't make sense. So how do you exclude that? So one thing you can do is go over here to content. You can go to placements. Now we will go to actually exclusions, I believe, because yeah, they keep changing this interface around so exclusions topic exclusions no it's not topic exclusions you're going to click up here we're going to go to placement exclusions i believe um let's see yeah placement exclusions then we're going to go to youtube channels and now we're going to go to enter all right now let me pull something up for you guys right here i have a list that i'm going to leave for you guys in the description I believe there's like a thousand or so YouTube channels here. Now these are all kids channels and you don't want your placements to be on kids channels. It just makes no sense. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click here. We're going to copy this and go over here to placements. All right. Now we're going to place this in. So you can see here there is 1,100 placements. We're going to add that. We're doing this on a campaign level. Okay, so I guess 92 weren't added, but you can see here all these YouTube channels got added. We don't want these in here, right? I would do this actually on an account level. Oh gosh, I messed up there. <laughs> um, okay, so do this on an account level because, you know, why do you want these? Uh, you don't really need these uh, kids' channels, like I said. So let me just pull this up again. There we go. So got those copied over here. Okay, they're here. Add to exclusions. Okay. There we go. And I have a, so I'm going to add those and then let me try this. Ooh, that's a lot. Let's see, got some extras here. Okay. So, Got a bunch. Now I'm just going to go save. All right, so we're adding these placement exclusions on an account level because we don't want these to be placed on these accounts. They're just pointless and it's just wasting money. All right, so that should save you some money. Um, so ideally, what you want is you want mo just a recap the way you structure about this is one way, right? Five ad groups within a campaign. Targeted based on the targeting is the same. It's just split up by age, right? And then you want to have about a few different campaigns. You can have three to four to seven plus campaigns. All right. And those are where you're going to be testing different audiences. All right. There are a few more settings you can do within the, the ad group and uh, the campaign and such and stuff like that. And we still didn't even go over setting up your conversion tracking. You're going to want to use Google Tag Manager, ideally, 
um, to set that up to make sure your pixels installed on your website so you're tracking everything and there's different ways to obviously scale your ads and you know doing maintenance making sure everything's running smoothly cutting the trimming the fat cutting what's not working but this is just a very basic way i wanted to give you guys some really good sauce here um to get your youtube ads up and running youtube ads guys there i'm just gonna let you know it's super super valuable reason being if you've run facebook ads you know how much of a headache it can be ad accounts getting banned this that whatever youtube ads really really good um so definitely recommend checking them out if you're not already and uh yeah that's pretty much it if you want help doing them then you can definitely reach out to our team and uh we um you know help help businesses scale in a multitude of ways all right i'm not going to get into that right now i'm not going to get into a whole sales pitch but if you want more information check out the resources below also too guys if you like this type of content make sure to smash that like button smash that subscribe button and leave a thumbs up comment down below uh letting us know your thoughts and then also too guys uh we have a group a community called the stride community so make sure to check that out it's a hundred percent free group of like-minded entrepreneurs coaches consultants marketing agencies just like yourself you can get in there get some free resources free help assistance ask questions you know network with myself my team as well as our community and we're really looking to grow it add a bunch of free value in there for the years for this year and the years to come right so boom strikecommunity.com link will be in the description and then also two guys if you thought this was valuable just wait for the six day accelerate your stride challenge i've been talking about for a while now if you're new to this channel it is currently being built so get on the wait list now while you still can um, while it's available for free six day challenge really really valuable go link in the description accelerateyourstride.com once it drops you just simply opt in once it drops you'll get instant email and text notifications all right so that's pretty much it guys all right hope you enjoyed this video uh, i will see you in tomorrow's video keep hustling keep grinding guys and of course accelerate your stride take care hey what's going on everyone hope you're all having a fantastic day for those of you who don't know me my name is jacob snitman I'm the founder and CEO of ABC Marketing Solutions and a broker within the Burt Financial Mortgage Group. Now, for anyone who's worked in either of my industries, I'm sure you're very familiar with how stressful things can be, how competitive the market is, and quite frankly, how hard it is to generate some new business for yourself. So that being said, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Josh and his team for being able to do exactly that. I originally employed their team actually back in quarter four of 2020. Uh, to scale both of my businesses and since the first week of campaigns after we've onboarded they've consistently been able to achieve at least 10 booked appointments on my calendar for each of my businesses every single week for the last six months now not only has this completely scaled my revenue but it's also a helped me better service my clients by giving them more time to focus on their individual needs and B focus on other parts of my business knowing that my lead generation is being completely taken care of and in good hands two other really cool things I wanted to point out is they give you access to these two to these amazing tools one is the client acquisition code and the other is the stride accelerated training and both of these were absolutely what I would define as critical components in helping me scale my business if you're looking to crush your business goals this year, I would really, really recommend getting in contact with Josh and seeing how him and his team can help you as well. Hi, my name is Franco and I run a marketing agency. I don't usually do testimonials for people, but Josh has and his team at Executive Stride have taken it upon themselves to basically outwork and outperform every single lead generation firm that I've worked with in the past. Now, most of my clientele is high ticket, very high ticket. And uh, not only has he been able to generate me a tremendous amount of additional income monthly, but him and his team are super supportive and they basically hand you leads on a silver platter. Now, a lot of agencies say that they do this, but to put it into executive action and to make that action transferable to you so that you do the easy work and sell them, as long as you're a good salesperson, you should have no issues uh, with these leads that Executive Stride is providing you. So as far as I'm concerned, they're the best locally and the best uh, lead generation firm that I've personally worked with in the past and in the future because I'm not going nowhere. I'm with Executive Stride. Thank you so much, Josh. This is for you, buddy. Hey, Jacob here. Just want to talk a little bit about Executive Stride. Uh, so I actually own an advertising agency. We mostly target e-commerce owners to help them grow their businesses. So. Uh, 
beforehand I was doing email marketing mostly, but now I'm also adding LinkedIn with it. And after signing up with Josh and Executive Stride, uh, we really, uh, things just like took off, um, especially with the leads coming in, the messages and meetings actually being booked, qualified meetings being booked. Um, he helped us kind of develop our sales process and offer a bit more as well. But just the platform and their overall experience with, with LinkedIn and actually booking meetings and getting leads is, is fantastic. It actually, like uh, we have a small team. I actually had too much coming in. I had to reel it back a little bit, which is a good problem to have. So um, anyway, overall great experience. Would highly recommend Josh and Executive Stride. So if you're thinking about taking the leap, go ahead and do it and join the team of winners. Let's get it. Hey, my name is Bharat and I run a marketing agency. Josh and his team at Executive Stride have helped me tremendously with their LinkedIn automation program and each machine. In the first two weeks, I've got 15 booked appointments and closed three deals already. When it comes to lead generation and sales process optimization, Josh and his team at Executive Stride are the best. If you are looking to maximize your ROI and take your business to the next level, I highly recommend Executive Stride. Hello, this is my testimonial for Josh. I'm Cass and Josh is very knowledgeable when it comes to lead generation and creating sales process. In fact, in the first three weeks of working with him, Josh and his team basically brought me and generated me over 37 booked appointments and 30 new clients which is mind-blowing and I would definitely recommend working with uh, Josh and his team at Executive Stride. If you are looking to scale your business, don't hesitate to contact him. Thank you so much and looking forward to working with you further. Bye. Guys, I have to give a huge shout out to Josh Pocock and his team. These guys completely changed my business. Um, I came into the industry, I started this company called Real to Media Leads and like starting it up it was really difficult i didn't know how to get clients i was cold calling <coughs> people and i was making like 2k a month uh doing this i had like two clients uh, two realtors and as soon as these guys jumped on board uh they set me up with this linkedin program and it's just been on fire for us ever since like it's been booking us like meetings every single week week after week after week and like it's it's helped me scale my business to now over 20k per month and uh i have to give a huge shout out to these guys they're seriously killing it and uh if you're looking for some seriously powerful leads like people that are on the call with you that want your service like they, these guys know how to target them and get them for you so huge shout out to them and uh if if you're not working with josh i don't know what you're doing <laughs> Hey there, Ivan Cuenca here and I just want to record this quick video to recommend uh, it's Josh and his team. Uh, I've been working with them the last couple of weeks and well, I tried some programs, some uh, courses in the past but uh, didn't get any results. Uh, so with Josh, in just a matter of uh, well, a couple of weeks, I was able to land so, some clients. I was able to land qualified leads with his program. Quite the client acquisition codebook and the executive try accelerator training uh, well uh, as i mentioned before i tried uh, some things in the past but didn't get any result but with them just a matter of weeks i land uh, qualified leads and therefore I, I land some clients at the end you know it's about uh, numbers it's a numbers game but you have to have the right numbers the right qualified leads so that way you can have more sales so yeah, I totally recommend uh, Josh and his team. Uh, you won't regret working with them. And yeah, thank you very much. Hey, I'm Harshal. I have been working with Josh and his team at Executive Stride for three weeks now. Since then, we have able to book 35 quality leads and close 11 deals by using their LinkedIn system. They also helping me with advanced sales and systems building strategies to take or to scale my business to the next level. If you are looking for someone who books more leads for your business, then I am highly recommended Josh and his executive strike. They will get your job done.